Hey, welcome back to Beer Geeks Beer Reviews. Today I'm coming to you with a very special receive from one of my friends um, at work. Uh, I, I will go ahead and put this in said empty glass. And when I said said empty glass, yes, it is part of this glass's company. And with that I mean, I'm going to do the 22 ounce bomber of block. Man, this black or blacker or Blaker, however you want to say it, it's a, it's a, a Norse word for black. Man, look at this. I'm loving this. An Imperial Black Ale. It says this double black as night IPA is too massive for one brewery efforts. Blacker or Blacker took a trinity. It's been in out quite a little while now. It came out in 16 ounce cans, I believe thanks to uh, Surly. I don't know how uh, Real Ale puts this out, but the Three Floyds Brewing Company puts this out in a massive 22 ounce bottle. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it's only in the surrounding areas of the brewery. I haven't seen it anywhere else. It hasn't come into Ohio uh, any shape or form. So with that said, let me go ahead and pop this open and, and get a pour on it so I can go ahead and let you guys know what I think and uh, the final verdict for this. Um, let's see. We'll go ahead and use um, this uh, $10 peso for this. Very, very lovely. Ooh, I smell that already. Loads of smoke. Smelling very lovely. Surprisingly enough, just a plain black cap. You know, coming from uh, Three Floyds, I thought maybe they would actually have something on there. All right, here we go. Look at that. Look at that coloring. That is a lot of dark roasted malts, my friends. Let's see if we can't get a decent sized head on this. Whoa, there it goes. <laughs> That is lovely. Ah, oh, just off of the, off of the head. Um, first off, before it actually poured over, this is what I got, and it's a nice three finger worth of fluffy, fluffy, um, almost like a mocha, rocky head. Um, the beer itself, uh, very, very opaque. I can only see like a tinge of like a mahogany down here towards the, the very, very bottom here. If I tip it up, you can see very, very little mahogany color or a ruby black color right there at the edge of the glass, man. I didn't do a lot of my homework for this beer. Um, I see a couple of places that actually say this comes in at 10% alcohol by volume. I see a couple of places that say that it actually came in at 9.99% alcohol by volume. I don't know which is correct. I don't know which is incorrect. But I did see a whopping like 88 or 89 IBUs for this. And that is a big, 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 big deal for me. Because I love hops. You know, who don't love hops? And... I, I kind of do like the, the black IPA style, so let me go ahead and swirl this around and get a nose for you guys, because not much to, uh, to entail about uh, color. Oh, just a load of aromatics going on in there. First off, deep, dark roasted malts. The roasted malts, I can get a little whiff of some chocolatey aroma. I can get a little bit of a coffee aroma. Breadiness, just big, big burnt bread crust. And then, I mean, of course, out of nowhere, I mean, it's just like you've been hopped all over. Ha ha ha. Um, yeah, it's, this has just been hopped on all over. I'm getting... Uh, Uh, like a uh, orange peel, like citrus. I'm getting some grapefruit, some papaya, some mango, <sighs> some green grass, like pininess, resinous. Um, it, it it's just one big IPA. Oh, I'm gonna go top myself off here, man. Here we go.
Man, it does, man. It gives you a nice head. I wish I could see the carbonation in this. I, I wish I really could. It's almost nil to impossible. I would be able to shine my light through it, but that would probably blind everybody, etc., etc. So let's go on with the taste, man. Prost. Mm. For the most part, I'm actually surprised. There is a real big bitterness to this, but at the same time, there is a huge abundance of uh, roasted malt here. I'm definitely getting a mixture of both, and it's like sitting like right here as it goes down in the throat. And, you know, you got these glands in the inside your mouth and in the back that can really tell the bitterness, and they're just like, it's bitter. It really is. It's a bitter black beer. Um, and as you can see, um, I can pull away and that lacing just cakes the side of it. This is very well done. I have not had anything from the Real Ale Brewing Company or the Surly Brewing Company. Um, I've had quite a few beers from the Three Floyds Company um, trying to at least, knock on wood, um, try everything that they um, I can get my hands on. There's been one elusive thing that I could not get because I can't get over to the brewery. Um, I now have it. <laughs> nah, I'll just say that much. But at the same time, um, back to this one. It's I'm going to almost put this at a medium mouthfeel to high end of medium, almost full. Because, I mean, there's so much going on here. Big roasted um, coffee, caramel. Um, little bits of hints of like uh, dark bitter chocolate, um, and with the play of the hops, I mean you're getting exactly what I said when it came to the nose. That you're getting that pininess, you're getting the resinous, you're getting the grapefruit, papaya, mango, melons. Um, also, you're um, getting like a hint of a raspberry, like uh, dark red fruits. Um, Maybe even some blackberry in there because I mean it is it is just it's sweet but not overly abundantly sweet. Um, at, at the same time, it is nice and roasted. Uh, you're getting a big roastiness. You're getting a big hot presence. I mean, if anybody wanted a true example of a imperial black, I would say um, right here it is, man. Man, surly real ale, three Floyds, blacker. It's it's truly amazing. Uh, if you guys haven't had it, man, get out there, seek it, trade for it. Uh, I see it more widely available in the 16-ounce cans from everybody that posts up on Facebook. I have not seen any other posts um, from uh, the big boy bottles. Everybody sticks with the, the little boy cans. Hmm. Anywho, well, with that said, man, I'm going to get up out of here, man. If I had to give this one a rating, especially for the style, I would give this a um, a, a definite A. Um, I, I would not go A+, plus because I really try not to give an A+, plus to any beer out there because of the sheer fact that it could be better. Um, but again, with that said, I'm going to get out of here, man. Peace, pros, deuce. As always, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Pinterest, Reddit, um, Instagram. I, I'm pretty much on them all. I have not been around for a little while and that is my own fault. Excuse me for my absence. And um, here we go, man. Get a head up on this and I'm going to get up out of here. Prost, my friends. See you up on the flip side. And as always, don't drink and drive and don't text and drive. I'll see you guys again later, man. Peace.